Hey friends, it's so good to see you back this week. We have been learning all about God's Ten Commandments. Pause this video and see if you can tell your family the first five. Awesome job! Today, we're going to learn about how to treat our friends. Commandment number six tells us not to hurt others. I bet you've been spending a lot of time with your families recently. You see them when you wake up, you hang out with them all day, and you probably see them just before you go to bed. It's great to always have someone around that we can play with, but sometimes it's hard to get along. And when it's hard to get along with someone, we might say things or do things that hurt them. If we hurt people, we can say sorry and they might forgive us, but sometimes problems can't be fixed that easily. That's why God gives us this commandment, so we never get stuck in this unfixable problem. Today, let's ask God to help us learn how to treat our family and friends with respect and what we can do if we hurt them. So take your right hand and your left hand and stack them together and let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for teaching us in the last few weeks how to love you and properly worship you. As we go into these next few weeks, where we learn about how to treat our friends and family, I pray that you open up our hearts and really help us apply this to our lives right now. We want to love others as much as you love them. So in your precious name, Amen. Alright, now let's watch this video about some fruity friends that hurt someone but fix the problem. Oh, maybe today's the day someone will pick me. Fresh broccoli here. Oh, hey, I'm high in nutrients and fiber. Ma'am, do you need some broccoli? I'm great with hummus. Sir, have you had any vegetables lately? I'm a great source of vitamin C. <laughs> oh, oh, pick me, pick me. Oh. Oh yeah, someone chose me! Woohoo! We're going home! Oh, these people are nice! Hey, you guys excited? Hey, anyone else talk back here? Ice cream? Pretzels? Anything to say? Peanuts! You guys can talk, right? No? Okay, just me. Guess I'll just talk to myself. <laughs> Ooh, so excited. Oh, I wonder what type of kitchen they have. Modern, countryside, coastal, open concept? Hey friends, what are your names? Pineapple, blech. what is that thing? Ew, I think it's a moldy grape. Or a green carrot with some warts on its top. Uh, I can totally hear you guys, and I'm Broccoli. Ha <laughs> Broccoli, what a dumb name. <laughs> Those things on your head look so weird. Ha! Oh, so weird! Hey, that's my florette. <laughs> Get out of her basket, weirdo! Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh man! Oh. What are you fruits doing? Don't you know how much it hurts to be teased and bullied? Poor Broccoli just wants to make friends, and you're being so mean. Have you forgotten that we don't hurt others? That means with our words and our actions. Guys, I, I kind of feel bad now. Yeah? You okay, Broccoli? We're just playing. I think my stock is bruised. Can you climb back up? Oh... I don't think so. Uh, what should we do? I've got an idea. Okay, 
Apple, you jump down on the spoon, catapulting broccoli back into the basket. Wow, you fruits are being so nice to me now. We were wrong treating you that way. It's nice having a new friend around, especially a vegetable. You're really cool. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Here I go. You're back in your basket now. Thanks. Hey, me too. That's so cool. Your flowerettes are actually really pretty. How much fiber do you have in you? Oh, I got a bunch, man. Vitamin A and vitamin K. And I'm really healthy. And... Our fruit friends didn't get along with the new guy and said some mean words to him. Then those mean words turned into mean actions that really hurt him. Thankfully, Mr. Potato helped the fruits realize that their hearts were in the wrong place and they needed to fix the situation with their new broccoli friend. Today, we learned that the sixth commandment is not to hurt others. But in the Bible, the actual words are do not kill. Now, this may seem like an easy commandment because you've probably never really hurt anyone that bad. But we'll see in a story from the Bible how even just hurting others can lead to really bad things. In Genesis 4, we read about two brothers named Cain and Abel. I'm reading from verses 2 to 5. Now Abel kept flocks of sheep, and Cain worked the soil. That means he was a farmer. Over the course of time, Cain brought some of his fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord, and Abel also brought an offering the best from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord favored Abel and his offering, but he did not favor Cain and his offering. So Cain was very angry, and his face was really sad. From the beginning, Cain's heart was already not in the right place. He only gave some of his fruits, not his best, to God like Abel did. And then Cain got angry, and from there, his heart only got worse. Before we read about what Cain did next, what are some things you might do when you get angry with someone? You might think about saying something mean to that person. We might even wish that person got hurt. And then we might actually hurt that person. Well, let's see what Cain did. In verse 8, it says, Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. So Cain killed Abel, but it didn't come out of nowhere. We saw that his heart was in the wrong place from the beginning. He didn't give his best to God and probably kept it for himself. He got really angry and then jealous of his brother, and this all led to him killing his brother Abel. We might not have killed someone, but we've probably gotten angry or jealous or said something mean, or wished someone got hurt. But we have to remember what God tells us. Do not hurt others. And that starts with our heart. We saw with our fruit friends, they realized their hearts were in the wrong place before they did anything worse to their new friend. When it becomes difficult to be kind and respectful to our friends and family, we can ask God to fill us with his peace and love. And he will fill us. With God's love, anything is possible, even when things get tough. I hope this week you remember to ask God for his peace and love to keep treating others with respect, even when it's hard to get along. Parents, if you click the PDFs below, you'll find some weekly activities and a craft to do with your children. Have a great week, everyone.